गाइस शेयरिंग एंड शेयर पर मोर वीडियोस में केम अबाउट द जेंगो लाइक इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑफ जेंगो वी क्रिएट अ एडब्ल्यूएस अकाउंट सो इन टुडेस वीडियो वी सी इट डिप्लॉय अ जेंगो एंड चूज वी चूज अ प्रोवाइडर सो दीस टू थिंग्स आई एम टेलिंग यू अबाउट हाउ टू डिप्लॉय अ जेंगो एंड वी आर चूजिंग आवर प्रोवाइडर एंड इफ यू डोंट नो व्हाट इज डिप्लॉय ऑल थिंग इन द दिस वीडियो आई हैव टोल्ड यू अबाउट व्हाट इज डिप्लॉयर एंड ऑल थिंग सो दैट्स व्हाई आई एम टेलिंग यू सी वीडियो स्टार्ट टू एंड प्लीज hit the like button share our friends and subscribe to my channel and then don't forget to all the notification bell also so you never miss a future related video so now i did not take a long time so let me move to computer again let's learn about uh, how to deploy a uh, uh, deploy jengo and how to choose a provider so let me move to computer again and let's do a coding with loving so guys in today's video of jengo i am telling about how to deploy a jengo and choose the provider so yeah i am telling about that so let's get started deploy to the world to deploy a project means to make it visible for other people on the internet so far in this tutorial we have made a jengo project that runs locally on your computer this is often called in development and when we develop it in with we, uh, we call it the it production we are to deploy There are many providers out there that offer servers for Django projects. In this tutorial, we will use the Amazon Web Service AWS platform. Like I have previous videos, I have already told you that we are using the AWS means Amazon Web Service platform, mainly because they offer a free solution that only requires you to create an AWS account. Note that you can choose whatever server provider you like. They will give. they will all give you the same result but they will have some provider specified setting that you will so be aware of following this tutorial aws login to aws account if you do not have any uh, have an an aws account for follow the steps in the in the create aws account aws account chapter like that I have already told you that how to create the AWS account in the previous video. But if you don't know, so follow these steps. First of all, you or sign in, uh, sign up, and this type of an output has been come. Then AWS console. When you are sign in, you will direct it to the AWS console homepage like that. Elastic Bean Bean Stalk. We will using a server called Elastic Bean Stalk to deploy the Django project. In the server field at the top, search for the Elastic Bean Stalk and click to the start the server. Survey. You write here. Here you will be write it in here. Let me show you where. Here you write it. E. Here you write Elastic like that. Here you write it. Then it will give. Then enter press. Then it give the output. Now. This type of an output has been came, and this one uh, thing will become about the here like that. In this diagram has been showing you like elastic bean stalk. This type of an output. Then lock in the dependencies. Once you have started the elastic bean stalk service, we could start with the deployment. But first, we need to lock in some dependencies, which means to make your local Django project ready for deployment. you learn how to how to do it in the next chapter but in today's video we learn about it what are uh, in the django what are how to in the django how to deploy the django choose provider in the today's video we see it how to how we come the elastic bean stalk uh, service how we call the elastic bean stalk so i have already told you that from this function we will deploy our django project django project So here you can see it. And today's video, we just have told you about the Django uh, deploy Django choose provider. So in today's video, I have already told you about that. So from the next video, we deploy our Django project. So in today's video, I have told you about it. How to deploy a Django uh, to choose and how to choose the provider. I have told you that. And we have chosen the provider. We are using the Elastic Bean Stalk provider. Uh, uh, okay. So now I hope you can enjoy this class uh, using the Elastic. a bean stock we will deploy our django project okay so in today's video there is no coding so that's my video is very smaller but i don't know the video is smaller or not but your i hope your concept will be clear about it what are in the how to uh, which provider we are using and how to deploy a django project i hope you can uh, enjoy this video if you enjoy so please like this video share friends and subscribe to my channel do not forget to all the notification bell also to never miss a future related videos 
So I mean you next lesson next video I'm making a letter about video so for today. Goodbye.